You're listening to The Business Marketing Show. On this episode, we have Stuart Sterling from stuartsterling.com. You can find us at businessmarketingshow.com on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Stitcher. Hi everyone, this is Ed K. Smith from The Business Marketing Show and OnlineImpact.com. Thank you very much for joining us on this episode of The Business Marketing Show. We have our special guest today on the show, Mr. Stuart Sterling from StuartSterling.com and 30MinuteList.com. Stuart is one of the guest speakers at Netpreneur Summit coming up in September 5th and 6th. So uh, welcome to the podcast, Stuart. Yes, hello, Ed. Thank you for inviting me for the interview. You're most, you're most welcome. Thanks for coming on and taking time out of your busy schedule and uh, coming on and having a chat with us. No, so, no problem. You're another expat Australian who's living in Japan, just like Mr. James Brown, who's organizing and co-hosting the Netpreneur Summit. So what we would like to do, Stuart, because you're one of the speakers, is get a bit of a background and what you were doing before you got involved in online marketing and uh, h- how it led you into what you're doing now. So let's rewind a tad and go back to, say, I don't know, 15 or 20 years ago. Um, Maybe just after you, what was the first things you were doing out of out of high school? What sort of jobs were you doing? Yeah, no worries. Um, Twenty years ago, I was uh, picking my nose in high school. Uh, <laughs> I'm only thirty. I'm only thirty-four still at the moment. Just a um, young but, whippersnapper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but um, yeah, straight after high school, uh, I didn't really have a very exciting, you know, after after high school life uh, until I moved to Japan um, and I moved to Japan when I was 23 so I had met my now wife um, in Australia in Brisbane mm-hmm. uh, where I grew up uh, when I was 22 I think um, and we we dated for about a year and then I thought it would be a good idea to see what Japan was like um, because she had moved back to Japan after studying. Okay. And, um, yeah, saw the place. I thought, wow, I could live here. And so about six months after that, uh, I decided to move over and we got married. And um, I was looking for work. Um, and uh, there was English teaching jobs. I, I did a bit of that. Mm-hmm. And then through one of the guys I was working with, um, I met James Brown, who is, like you said, the uh, the co-host and co-organizer of the Netpreneur Summit in Tokyo. Okay, and so a friend, a, a co-friend or a mutual friend, I should say, uh, introduced yep. you, and um, yep. and then what happened from there? So you know, James, I'm assuming, started talking about internet marketing, and off you went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, um, yeah, I. Uh, I kind of, you know, hit it off with James straight up, straight away. Um, he's Australian, and I'm Australian. Not many, not too many Australians up here in Fukushima. So, mm. you know, we got we got talking, and he told me he did internet marketing, and I, I was like, "Isn't that illegal? <laughs> what are you <laughs> What are you selling?" <laughs> I had no idea, you know. So, and he's like, "No, nah, no, nah, it's not illegal. It's not legal. Well, everything I do is legit." Well. That's what he said anyway. Yeah, and but, he would have said it exactly <laughs> how you said it too, just with that tonality yeah. and everything. <laughs> yeah. So, so um, yeah, I, I had, and it was kind of uh, interesting because I had been looking at, you know, make, I'd seen all the ads on the internet, like, you know, how to make $50 squillion in your sleep kind of thing. And so I already had that interest about internet business. Mm-hmm. And then when I met James, I'm like, oh, yeah, I want to know more about it. So it just so happened that he had uh, a coaching program at the time, um, which which I got just for a steal, actually. Like um, back then, I, I don't know what he was thinking, but he was just selling his coaching way too cheap. 
Um, now I wouldn't like to know how much he charges for coaching, <laughs> but um, yeah, I got it. I got it for a steal, and uh, yeah, we we started working together. I mean, he was teaching me, and uh, I was slowly learning, but I I quickly picked it up, and I was I was spending you know hours and hours every day um, doing what he taught me, which was basically list building. You know. Um, Build a list, build a relationship with your list, uh, sell stuff, build a customer list, and take good care of your customer list. Um, those are the fundamentals, and that's what I've been focusing on for the last, I think, nine years now. Uh, it was about nine, uh, sorry, 2005, 2006, when I uh, started my internet career, internet business. Awesome. And is this how you make your full-time living now, I'm assuming? Well, actually, I've got a number of ventures. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, yeah, I am actually the owner of a small English school in Fukushima. Okay. So I've, I've got that, and I do my internet business as well. Um, and I've got staff here and there uh, helping me run both of these uh, those businesses. Plus, I do... I, I kind of a not don't want to say jack of all trades, but like I I do other things like translate. Um, I can speak Japanese as well, so sometimes I get translating jobs. Handy. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah. I I kind of like a variety um, in my life, and like we was I was telling you before, like um, I love the internet because you can work when you want to work. You don't have to be tied down um, with a boss looking over your shoulder, yeah. um, telling you, you know, okay, work from nine to five, all right? And then he says, oh, okay, I want you to work overtime, you know, until midnight tonight. So I, I don't have to do that. I'm, I'm free to choose when I want to work on my internet business, which is the beauty of it, um, which is, you know, what got me into it in the first place. Uh, and I can see that's why so many people are attracted to the internet marketing model because yeah. of that freedom. Yeah, the flexibility, the scalability, and the, uh, the the only people you're accountable to is technically your customers and your staff. Um, yeah. And your staff can sometimes be like having a boss, but not nowhere near as bad as my experience. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, but that's yeah, awesome. Uh, so, I, yeah. So, yeah, so that allows you to have that that flexibility because you're a married man. And you've got you've got a couple yeah. of kids, correct? From my understanding. Yep, got two kids and one on the way. Ah, congratulations! In November, so that'll be interesting. Yep. Um, yeah. So I'm assuming you can't fit all of those in your uh, Nissan GTR. <laughs> no, you're gonna have to upgrade to two. <laughs> Two GTRs, one for me, one for the wife. Yeah, yeah. Just to fit all the kids. So, how old are your two kids at the moment? Uh, I got a five-year-old son and a three-year-old daughter. Right. Okay. So they can technically fit in the back of a Nissan GTR because they don't have any legs. Basically, they got little <laughs> tiny legs. So, um, yes. do, do you have car seats you stick in the back of uh, the GTR? No, no, no. Just, just yeah. let them sit there, flop just... around in the back. Well, well, friend, <laughs> Shh, you don't admit that. You're going to have people sending through things now saying, it's got uh, in, in Japan, it's, it's all okay. Yeah, as long as they've got seatbelts on, I suppose. Uh, yeah, um, that's true. So uh, how long have you had the Nissan GTR for? Uh, it's coming up a couple of years. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They're they're a great car, and um, no doubt, probably a bit cheaper to buy in Japan compared to Australia. Yeah, I actually haven't looked up the price of them in Australia, but um, yeah, the GTR's not too out of reach in Japan. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's it's um not as high as you know the Porsches and European sports cars. No. But I uh, say so typically in Australia you're paying you know for for a new one one hundred and fifty hundred and seventy thousand Australian somewhere up there so uh, okay yeah then yeah it'll probably work out uh, a little bit cheaper yeah cool anyway I could talk yeah. about Nissan GTRs all day but we want to talk uh, more about business cool. 
Yeah, so, we'll save that for another podcast. We'll, you'll save exactly. that for the Nissan, Nissan GTR podcast, yeah. So, <laughs> so there, now there's people who are coming to the Netpreneur Summit to you know, see yeah. the different speakers and some are coming for different reasons. And so what is it that you're going to be focusing on uh, talking about at Netpreneur Summit? Yes. Well, I only have a limited time. It's going to be like 45 to 50 minutes, so I'm told. So I, I thought about it and I plan to pretty much teach the best of the best of what I've learned over the last nine years. Um, everything that that has worked well. You know, maybe you, you've heard of, I think everyone's heard of the 80-20 rule. Uh -huh. You know, you get 80% of the results from 20% of whatever you're doing kind yes. of thing. So I, I want to take those that 20% that's getting me 80% of the results and and going deep into that, which is, you know, my list building strategies, uh, my product launch strategies, my other, you know, hands-free set and forget traffic, you know, kind of systems that I have in place, um, those kind of things, you know. Fantastic. And, uh, yeah, I don't want to give away all the secrets here, so you're gonna to have no, to no, come you, to that preneur summit. You got to turn up, and Stuart's gonna be talking very quickly to get all that in in 45 minutes. So yeah, yeah. Well, well, the thing is because because I I don't spend you know 10 12 hours a day on my internet business. Um, I keep it very very simple. So the things that I'm gonna be sharing are gonna be very very simple strategies that anyone can implement uh, with minimal effort in minimal time. Uh, it's it's going to be perfect for you know people just getting started or um, people just wanting to you know uh, find a better way to, to, to do the things that they're already doing. Maybe I can shed some light, some insight on, on how I do things uh, in a very short amount of time to get you know better results or yeah awesome and most results. people are time poor that's one of the biggest challenges and they, they do yeah. end up wasting a lot of time on stuff that doesn't matter on the little shiny objects as i like to call them rather than focusing yeah. on important things and and building a list and my, my view is the gold is in the list and that's really one of the ultimate things you can have control over uh, so that would be great to hear what you've got to say about that Spe yes. speaking, of, speaking of lists, you've got a product called 30minutelist.com. Yeah. yeah. Would you like to tell right. us what that's about, please? Yeah. Um, it's basically, it's a, it's a plug-in list building system um, that's all web-based. It's, it's based on my server. Mm -hmm. um, and users can go and create a free account and they can have a list building system in 30 minutes. They can have it all set up, ready to go. They can start promoting their unique link, um, which when they get people clicking on and, and going to my website, um, the people can people they refer through their link can actually jump on the on your list, so to speak. So okay. it's it's a it's a real massive shortcut for anyone uh, wanting to build get started in list building or add an extra income stream to whatever they have because I've also got a built-in affiliate system, um, a built-in sales funnel. So as you become a member, you're also plugged into the to the sales funnel. So you can get paid as well on, on any of the sales that are made um, because it is free to create an account there at 30 minute list. Mm -hmm. um, but there are, you know, higher level memberships um, that, you know, provide greater features, uh, for example, um, uh, more, uh, what's, what's one of the big ones? It's, there's also built-in advertising with banner ads and text link ads, so members can actually advertise inside the, the, the website as well, in, inside the members area. So okay. with a higher level membership, our members can get more advertising for whatever other site that they want. Um, they can also get more um, exposure for their uh, for their affiliate link because actually the system 
works on um, a random referrals thing. So it's it's hard to explain, but even just as just by being a member, you can get free referrals going onto your list because okay, we've got cool. this randomizing script that that adds members randomly to all the members list. So it uh, it's it's got a lot of bells and whistles on it, but um, uh, it's it's very simple to set up. Like the name says, thirty minute list. Anyone wanting to get started and can't get over the technical uh, issues of list building, you know, squeeze pages and hosting and and uh, autoresponders and things like that. That's uh, a very easy solution. Fantastic. And when did you start this? That website, I think I launched um, about two years ago. Okay. Yeah, it would have been about two years ago. And uh, now there's, there's probably over 20. I haven't checked recently, actually. But, um, yeah, it, it, uh, it kind of launched pretty hard, and I got uh, probably about 20,000 members in the first year. Uh, and by now, it's probably up around 30. I, I haven't checked in a while, but the last time I checked, it was about mid-20,000 members. So Awesome. It's, um, yeah, kind of, kind of popular. And uh, if you go there and check it out, you'll see why. <laughs> Because it's it's very easy in it and it uh, gets results. Awesome, easy and gets results are very very good. <laughs> Everybody should be interested in easy and get results. So uh, that's fantastic. Yeah. So thirty minute list dot com, go and check it out. We'll put it in the show notes and you can sign up for free and check it out and uh, see what you think. So sounds good. I will go and do it myself and see what it's all about. Yeah. So um, so you're living in in Fukushima at the moment where James Brown lives as well and how mm-hmm. far is that uh, in before you get into Tokyo how how far out by train yeah on the bullet train or Shinkansen yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's about two hours just under two hours okay yeah so yeah, that, I'll be that. I'll be cruising down um, on the Saturday actually I'd love to be able to make it for the Friday night party, but unfortunately, some uh, family matters um, happened and uh, can't get down there. But I'll be there for Saturday, Sunday. So, I'm looking forward to the Netpreneur Summit. It should be awesome. I'll be arriving on the Thursday, I think, uh, whenever the third is. What that is Thursday? Yeah. So uh, I'll be there for for ten days, getting there and then hanging around for the. Uh, master mind group thing that we'll be setting up as well at the a few days after the summit. So, awesome! Thank you very much for your time, and I'll give uh, listeners who are thinking of attending or who are attending some more information on you as a presenter. They'll have a bit of a backstory. So when they're uh, sitting there and you're up on stage talking, a lot of a lot of things they may have had in their head are covered and, until you get to your secret source. And that's why everyone has to turn up to hear the actual nitty gritty <laughs> eighty twenty stuff. So, yeah. um, it's a Friday night, and uh, I appreciate the fact you've just put your kids to bed and taking some time out to do the podcast. Greatly appreciated, Stuart. Uh, you're welcome. I look forward to meeting you in person in Tokyo. Yeah, likewise, and to the, to your listeners as well. I'm looking forward to meeting you too. So. If you uh, see me in the crowd, don't be shy. Don't be a stranger. Come and say hello, and uh, perhaps I'll shout your beer. Ooh, and you too, Ed. The, yeah, absolutely. I'll hold you to that. Whoever <laughs> travels the <laughs> furthest <laughs> doesn't have to buy the beer. That's, uh, that's <laughs> Yeah, horrible. that sounds fair. The that things I'm coming fair. from Perth, <laughs> I, I will yeah. probably win most of that. So I could be very drunk by the end of it. <laughs> yeah. So, so we could go down the line. So Chris Blair lives in Tokyo. He can... You know, buy me a beer, then I could buy you a beer. You know, yeah, we yeah. go down the line from closest to furthest away. That's it. We'll have to see who <laughs> wins at the end. <laughs> All right. Yes. Thank you, Stuart. And uh, enjoy your weekend. We'll see you in Japan. Okay. Thanks, Ed. Thanks very Bye. much, mate. See ya. You've been listening to The Business Marketing Show. You can find us at businessmarketingshow.com on iTunes, SoundCloud and Stitcher.